Good morning, guys. Today, I want to show you a product that I purchased. I actually bought this from Bed Bath & Beyond. I've been looking for a tub pillow for quite a while. Something that was not too big, was comfortable, and easy to clean. So, I have purchased other bath pillows that were different and I didn't end up liking them at all. Well, the one, hmm, there was one I ended up, it wasn't bad, but it filled with water and you couldn't get the water out because it was like, there was like a sponge inside. If I can find a photo of that picture, I'll put it right here. And yeah, I wouldn't purchase that one again. So I found this one, we're gonna give it a try and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. So this one is called Haven Luxury Spa Bath Pillow. And like I said, I bought it from Bed Bath & Beyond. Apparently it supports the head, neck, and shoulders. And you can machine wash it. It has breathable material. So I am going to unbox this in this video. I'm going to try it out behind scenes. I'm not going to show it to you guys in the tub. I can show you what it will look like in my tub but not while I'm in the tub uh, and then yeah this you guys you guys can get a better idea on if this product is made for you as well so I have like I said been I have used uh, different bath pillows before and we're gonna try out this one I can't say this was the cheapest bath pillow I have ever found as this one was around $40 and up. So we're going to unbox this here and then I'll show you what it looks like in the tub. Okay, so let's get into this box. It's very light, lightweight. Do not pull from hook or pillow. Uh, so they're probably meaning the suction cups. For easy removal, release each suction cup at the edge. So that means just by putting your nail under and releasing that way. So it's got five suction cups on it. Three there and two here. I'll probably end up cutting these tags off because I hate products with tags. Yeah, let's just remove this. So that's what the little card said. It's got a little hanging hook, so if you want to hang to dry it. I've never had a bath pillow with that before. So if you look at it, it's like it's like a mesh. It's got some padding here. So it's a little soft. Oh, it's stuck to the deep freeze already. <laughs> It's got more padding here. You can see how thick it is. So, I don't know. We're gonna give it a try. To me, it kind of feels like a car seat material, but you can see it's very breathable. And inside, it looks like there, there's just like a gray foam inside this pillow. So yeah, it does look very breathable. I don't know how supportive it will be for the back. It does say it's going to be supportive, but we will give it a try and then yeah, I will let you guys know. So let's go to the bath and stick it onto my tub and you can see what it looks like. So here is one of the older bath pillows that I had used previously. This is one is, I think you can just get them at Walmart or Dollarama. Um, it's okay, I find you always have to blow it up because the air in it always, it deflates. Um, and you can dish, or you can throw this in the, in the washing machine as well. Um, but sometimes I find that the backing here, you can see the plastic is starting to rip. So after a while, these, you can't blow them up anymore because they tear, so they do break down. Even though they are cheap, it will work if you're looking for just a cheaper bath pillow, that'll work. But we're gonna try this one out and see how 
it works as this time around. So I guess you can probably suction it higher if you want. You can have that for your back. I like the pillow more, not for my head, but for my neck. So I'll probably just suction it to the tub. Just like that. And the hook you can just tuck back. So I don't know, we are going to try that out tonight and I'll let you know how that, how that works. So it seems like it's pretty firm once all the suction cups are connected to the tub. So as I'm filling up the tub, I'll probably record as well so you can see if the suction cups let go and yeah. So you think, yeah, you just put your nail in and pop it off. So, yeah. So once you're done with your bath pillow, if you have a hook in your tub, then just hook it up and it should drip down into your tub and drain. I mean, you could probably just leave it suction to the back of the tub as well, but if you have little kids or, you know, your husband wants to shower or something, it's probably best to just hang it up and out of the way and it'll air dry. So it's got all these little air pockets on there that airflow should get through quite well and it shouldn't get moldy. All right, guys, my soak is done. That was so relaxing. The bath bomb that I used, I will link it in this video. If you'd like to see that video, I'll link it up above in the corner and also I'll link it down below. So this bath pillow, this relaxing bath pillow, I have to say it's probably the best I've ever owned. And I'm not just saying this, <laughs> this is the truth. Um, I've had a few different bath pillows before and this is very nice. Uh, you can, I was kind of sitting in the tub at first and I had my back against here, so comfortable. And then after that I had my head on the top and it really comforted my neck. This was just very soft on the back as well. Their cups, like this, the suction cups, they never let go at all, which was super nice. And when I was done, I just pulled it right out of the water and it was super light because the water drained right through it. And then I just gave it a rinse in the shower head and it never even stained. So how cool is that? And then I just hung it right up here so it can dry. The suction cups can even dry where when I was using this bath pillow, there's nowhere to hang it. I always had to worry about blowing it up and the suction cups usually came off or they would rip away. You would just suction it to the the side of the tub just for it to drip or dry and sometimes they would get moldy like this one it's not the cleanest because you can see it looks like it's getting somewhat moldy because it doesn't it's plastic right so it doesn't really dry out the best so if you're using one of these get rid of it and get one of these again i bought this from bed bath and beyond if i can find it online i will link it below i'm sure amazon also carries different uh bath pillows but this is the best one i have found yet so again thanks for watching my videos if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified each and every time a video is posted maybe something will come up that will perk your interest and maybe you would like something like this again this video is not sponsored i just wanted to show you what i thought of the product yeah so thanks for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Alright guys, we'll see you later.